Ty, you walked on this year. Yeah. What were your expectations coming into the year knowing that you're going to be a D1 athlete? Uh, honestly, I, I, mean, I thought I would be in the back of the pack. You know, these guys are all tremendous high school records and categories, so I figured I'd just be hanging on for dear life. Okay, and that's changed. You've actually come up yeah. as the number one runner uh, yeah, nice. in a race or two. So uh, how has is, how is the year like panned out? You know, wh- how has your expectations changed knowing that the year you know, panned out differently yeah, for you? It's a lot different. I mean, just you know, when I'm every workout, I just tell myself it's an opportunity to get better. I'm training with the best. So I just figure if I put myself at that level, my body will respond, which just worked out. Okay, and you know, you're coming up and you're running your first ACC championships mm-hmm. in like a week and a half. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, it's going to be nice to be at the elite level. You know, finally, I've, been wa- I've watched this race the past two years, been on the sidelines, so it's going to be nice to finally be in it. Okay, and uh, what's the hardest thing about you, know, you? You used to be the team's manager. You did all the work. You worked your way onto the team. And... Uh, now that you're actually training full time as an athlete here, what's the hardest thing about that transition from coming from and you know, just managing versus training? Uh, it's definitely all the little things that aren't just running. I mean, last year I ran with the team, but I didn't do as much of the lifting as I should have, or the recovery things as I should have. Just all the little things besides the actual running that's, that gets you. Yeah.